Feminists have long struggled with Sigmund Freud's classical model of gender and identity development and reality, which centers around the Oedipus complex. Freud's model, which became integral to orthodox psychoanalysis, suggests that because women lack the visible genitals of the male, they feel they are missing. The most central characteristic necessary for gaining narcissistic value therefore developing feelings of gender inequality and penis envy. In his late theory on the feminine, Freud recognized the early and long-lasting libidinal attachment of the daughter to the mother during the pre-Oedipal stages. Feminist psychoanalysts have confronted these ideas particularly the female relationship to the real, imaginary and symbolic phallus and reached different conclusions. Some generally agree with Freud's major outlines, modifying it through observations of the pre-Oedipal phase. Others reformulate Freud's theories more completely. Hélène <laughs> Deutsch Hélène Deutsch was one of Freud's first female pupils and the first analyst who made an integral, chronological study of woman's psychological development. In short, Deutsch claims that women have a passive masochistic sexuality, they are born for reproduction and their development must be seen as different from the development of men. Deutsch sees the female development as exceedingly difficult and tortuous, because at some point she must transfer her primary sexual object choice from her mother to her father and males, if she is to attain her expected heterosexual adulthood. According to Deutsch, the girl blames her father, not her mother, for the lack of a penis, thus, she stops identifying with her father and masculinity. Because of this relationship with her father, she develops libidinous fantasies of being raped. Thus, the rape fantasy is universal and non-pathological, a key part of female sexuality. Meanwhile, the girl identifies herself with her mother through the wish for an anal child. When she recognizes her failure, a decline to the pre-genital stage takes place, a wish for the earlier active phallic clitoris. Masochistic tensions in the girl prevail and she longs to be castrated by her father. The desire for a child also becomes masochistic. Nancy Chodoro Nancy Chodoro noted that Freud believed that males possess physical superiority and that a woman's personality is inevitably determined by her lack of a penis. Like Freud, but for different reasons, Chodoro emphasizes that the female Oedipal crisis is not resolved completely. Unlike the male crisis, a girl cannot and does not completely reject her mother in favor of men, but continues her relationship of attachment to her. The strength and quality of her relationship with her father are completely dependent upon the strength and quality of her relationship with her mother. Chodoro claims that most women are genitally heterosexual, but they have other, equally deep relationships with their children and with other women, as a result of the primary relationship with the mother. Thus, a girl represses neither her pre-Oedipal nor her Oedipal attachment to her mother nor her Oedipal attachment to her father. This means that she grows up with more ongoing preoccupation with internalized object relationships and with external relationships. Because a girl does not have to repress her pre-Oedipal and Oedipal attachment to father and mother, she reaches a more relational sensibility than boys. Chodoro illustrated this through studies suggesting that men love and fall in love romantically, where women love and fall in love sensibly and rationally. Topic: Loose Irigaray. 
In Freud's model there is no place for femininity unless it is related to masculinity. Luce Irigare, a student of Jacques Lacan, disagrees with the thoughts about the importance of the penis and phallic for women. She hypothesizes that the reason the penis is privileged in Freud's model is that it is visible. This is also the reason that male sexuality is based, in early Lacanianism, on having a penis, and female sexuality is based on lack. In Freud's paradigm, female desire is the desire for a baby to substitute for penis, thus female pleasure is derived from reproduction. Irigare disagrees. How can we accept that the entire female sexuality is being controlled by the lack and envy of the penis? Female sexuality is not solely related to reproduction, but neither is it less valuable in reproduction, and thus it should not hold less social power. Furthermore, she says that Freud is forgetting the mother daughter relationship. To enter the Oedipus complex, a girl must hate her mother. Irigare says this view makes it impossible for a girl to give meaning to the relationship with her mother. See also <laughs> Notes <laughs> <laughs>